name is Richard Hutton. I'm Greg's Group Finance Director and I'm also a trustee of the Greg's Foundation. Well, it all started back in 1999 when Sir Michael Darrington went on a BITC Seeing as Believing visit to West Walker Primary School in Newcastle. And he came back so enthused about what he'd seen there that he wanted to see whether we could replicate it. So he asked me and a colleague to find four other schools and see if we could achieve the same results by sponsoring breakfast in those schools. And we did. So uh, at that point, we knew we were onto something. Well, fundamentally, the Breakfast Club is to make sure that kids start the day having eaten because anybody who's got young children knows how distracted they are if they're hungry. Teachers were telling us that kids were coming to school hungry and fundamentally they just couldn't teach them until they got them settled. So some of them were literally having to have packets of biscuits in the classroom to try and get them settled. So first base was simply to get the children with a good breakfast inside them ready to learn. The only things we've really had to sort of change over the years has been to, to modify the menu uh, to make sure it keeps up with school food standards. In the early days, I have to be honest, it was just about putting breakfast in front of children and making sure children had something quite nourishing inside themselves before they started their school day. As the years have gone by, we've refined it and developed this. The Breakfast Club doesn't stand by itself now. Breakfast Club is very much part of the ethos of the school. It's one measure in that pastoral care programme where we support children. For example, the food that we deliver, the food that we serve the children has changed. Children have a very nutritious start to the day. We, we now have brown bread where we used to have white. We have um, um, cereal with low fat and low sugar content is we've tried to make sure that it's not just food but it's nutritious food. Very much what's changed is the socialisation. This is not just about children and sometimes their parents coming in and having breakfast. This is about children socialising, interacting, learning or, or, or putting into practice some of those life skills like taking turns if they're playing games after breakfast or simply just communicating as they're eating. My name's Tony Leonard, I'm the head teacher at Kendon Bar Primary School. The children love coming to the Breakfast Club. They're incredibly self-motivated and self-disciplined. They come in and they make their own breakfasts, they tidy up after themselves. There's lots and lots of indoor activities that they can get involved in. The school is situated in an area which can be described as a socially challenging area. When I took the school over 17 years ago, I approached Greg's because I knew Greg's had one breakfast club over in Newcastle and I was fortunate enough to meet the criteria for Greg's to sponsor me. And so we embarked upon this long journey, which 16 years later is stronger than ever. So we provide the bread, of course, uh, from our bakeries, uh, which is collected at the local shop. And we also provide funding either from ourselves or our partners so that the, uh, the volunteers who run the Breakfast Club can buy the milk, the cereal, the spreads, and the drinks that they need to complete the breakfast. The sponsors we work with are absolutely crucial. Uh, we couldn't do it without them. Uh, we couldn't have the number of clubs uh, that we have without the supporters. Um, we see great demand in the future for more and more clubs and we can't sponsor them all ourselves. But the great thing is that the uh, partners that get involved with us get huge benefit themselves as well and really enjoy being involved with the clubs. Well, we're really looking for people who've got the same enthusiasm for the scheme as we have. Uh, people who, who get it, who understand the benefit it's having for children and really want to help us to bring it to uh, more and more schools. My name is Nick Thompson. I'm a senior partner of the accountants KPMG here in Newcastle. Nationally, we, uh, we see corporate social responsibility and giving something back is, is very important. But locally, our staff in particular always wanted to do something for a charity with more local roots. And given that Greg's, whilst a national firm now, do have very strong roots in the North East. They've always looked at Greg's as a, as a source of, of a potential great local charity. So the Breakfast Clubs really gave us a good idea for the staff to get involved with. And we approached Lynn and, and spoke to her. It's completely up to us as to what school we take on. Uh, we were provided with a list of schools. We were offered the chance to go and visit several of them to then take a decision. I think what was important for us though was actually to find somewhere close to our office on the quayside so that our staff could engage and can come here and, and get involved. KPMG are, are, are very, very keen, obviously, to support um, schools such as ours in the local area. And the sponsorship that we've had over the last 
12 months has enabled us to buy new resources that the children use within the Breakfast Club. Most importantly, it's provided 60 children with a free breakfast. My name's Keith Packer. I'm the chief exec of Typhoo Tea. We decided to get involved with the Greg's Breakfast Club because we saw it as a great opportunity to improve attendance at some of the schools where the attendance is a key issue for them as well. The attendance of the children has increased from about 93% and last time last half term it was 97 percent so obviously the, the breakfast clubs had an impact on the children's attendance but also it's had an impact on their readiness to start learning from the minute they walk in school at eight o'clock quarter past eight in the morning we're also sure that the children have had something to eat that their energy levels are up which helps with the behavior a lot of them have um, increased their manners their table manners the sharing and it encourages them to actually socialize with the children included in the breakfast club as well we have a corporate social responsibility plan and part of that is getting involved in our community. One of the benefits of being involved in the Greg's Breakfast Club is obviously that helps our community and helps you know, a local school as well. And we are certainly looking at whether we can extend that further in the future. As a part of our sustainability program called Green Print for Good, we are very proud to support this project. The children are very happy to play around, to put their ideas into action, and take the ideas at home and in the community. We actually found it quite easy, so we contacted Jackie Crombie from the Greggs Foundation. Uh, she explained the process, she explained how the breakfast clubs operate, um, and then it was just a question of us getting involved or finding a local school who had applied to the Greggs Foundation for them to get involved. One of the things that I've appreciated as the years have gone by is the hands-on nature that Greggs have with their breakfast clubs. I don't feel as though I just received my sponsorship and I'm left alone. I feel very much part of the Breakfast Club. I have a good communication with the Greg staff who are linked to the Breakfast Club. They support me and, and I offer support to them um, with their Breakfast Clubs where we can. The easiest way for a, uh, a company or an organisation to get involved is just to start by visiting one of our clubs. Come with us, see what happens. There's no obligation. But I think once you see what's going on there, you'll want to be involved. The next step after that is to work with us because we've got a very experienced team who are really good at working with schools. They know the sort of schools, they know the sort of dynamic that's needed, and they can really hold someone's hand right through the process and help them get the whole thing established. Well, I'd love to see hundreds of these clubs because there is a huge need uh, and it's not getting any smaller. We've done really well getting to the uh, scale that we have already, but we know there are many, many more schools who'd love to have a breakfast club, and uh, that's my ambition. It's just fantastic for every child um, and available to every child. They enjoy coming to school in the other morning and are ready to go and seem settled, ready to go into the class when it's time at quarter to nine. I like it because you get to play on the iPads. It's just been, it's, it's been brilliant, absolutely brilliant since they started. They've loved every minute of it. I like Weetabix because they're healthy for you. I like singing with my best friend, Helmy. I like how the teachers are really, really friendly and you're allowed to talk and I like meeting lots of people.